Hello, everybody. Welcome. Um, this is a verbaling class, and my name is Amy. And today we are going to be doing some writing. So come on into this class if you would like to have a bit of a practice doing some writing. This is sometimes one of the skills that we leave a little bit behind with um, learning another language. It can be a bit challenging, but one of the great things to do with writing is to make sure that you get it corrected by a native speaker. And it's surprising how much this can actually help you, um, not only with your own writing, but with your speaking as well, because it's very easy to clear up any grammar mistakes and um, improve your vocabulary, that type of thing. Makes your brain work hard. Um, so do come along in if you'd like to, to have a little practice of your writing today. In an hour, um, we don't have time to do a lot, but we do have time to do some. And today's topic is books and movies. So this is really easy um, topic. Uh, well, it depends whether you call it easy, I guess. Um, it depends what you go for. But what I'd like you to do is to think of a book or a movie that you love or perhaps that you hate. And we're going to do some writing about that today. Um, I think there are some spare slots in this class. So if you would like to come on in, do come in now and join us. I'll let you know quickly about some things that will help you with your time on Verbling. Um, and then we'll say hi to the students and we'll get started with our writing today. So first of all, we have my Verbling Facebook page. And secondly, we have my teacher. Those two pages are there for you in the chat box. Both of them will be helpful in different ways. Excuse me. Um, Facebook is somewhere where you can just connect up with your fellow students and with me. You can see what classes I've been doing. You can check out some resources that I put up there. Leave me some comments. Write me some messages. Um, just keep in touch. And the Verbling Teacher page is where you will find specifically um, information about my calendar, where you can see if there's any any free slots for private tutoring sessions if that's something that might interest you and also my upcoming classes um, so that you can attend those if you'd like so check out those pages if you have time we're going to say hi and see who we've got today to practice writing with us so first of all we have Ming, hello Ming hello teacher Amy how are how you? How are you? <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> Doing well um, me too, me too. Thank you. Um, so how, how is, let me ask you something, Ming. Do you really like reading or do you prefer watching films? Hello, teacher. How are you? Uh, uh, if I have time and it's a really good book, I, uh, I will read, I prefer to read. Mm -hmm. And then oh. watch the movie. All right. So movie is like if you have... Um, just an hour or so, and you just want to go all oh, and zombie out, watch a movie. Yes, perhaps. yes, yes. <laughs> yes. All right, cool. Well, welcome to the class. Great to have you. I'll say hello also to Obeid. How do I say your name? Hello, Dijon. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Can you help me with the pronunciation of your name? Pronunciation? Yeah. I have. Uh, I I will try to learn the accent, uh, American accent pronunciation. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Sorry, obeyed. How do I say your name? Is it obeyed? Yeah, that's right. Ah, oh, okay, great. That's all I wanted to know. <laughs> because I don't like saying it wrong. It must get annoying. But welcome. Where are you from, obeyed? I'm from Saudi Arabia. Oh, really? Okay, so. I live with a Saudi Arabian man um, called Suleiman. He's great. And he's taught me lots of things about your country. Do you, know, do you want to more information about my country? Um, maybe. Maybe. If you have a chance. Maybe you can write about it today. Um, but um, Obeid, do you like watching films or do you prefer reading? Yeah, I would like to watch the films. Films, okay. What's your favorite film of all time? Especially the action films. Action films? Yeah. Okay, and do you have a favorite film or a favorite actor? Uh, King of Rain. Okay, great. Well, you may like to write about um, one of those today. Um, boys, because it's just us for the moment, we'll see if anyone else turns up. 
Um, you're going to have plenty of time to do some really good writing for me because we won't have to spend too long correcting at the end. So what I'm going to say to you is, firstly, see if you can access the Google file. It's in the Google Drive. So have you, I know Ming's done this before. Obeyed, have you accessed a Google file before? Yeah, this is uh, maybe a first time I come here to learn English. All right, so let me help you. Just at the side, on the side of your screen, there should be some icons, some little pictures. Yeah, that's right. And if you click on the triangle, there's a triangle, green, yellow, and blue. That's the Google Drive. Can you see that? Yeah, that's right. Yep. Click yeah, on that, you should find the file. It's called B and M Let's Write About. Can no, you see this, it? This, this is page, you know, you cannot find this page. It's just context cannot be displayed in the frame. Ah, uh, okay. All right, what I might do is try and get the link for you. Just what, one moment. Yeah. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. Seems to be strange. Just a second. So, just one moment. We'll just say hello to... Who else have we got turning up here? We've got Kako. Welcome back. Thank you, teacher. All right, I'm just finding the link, guys, just for those of you. Otherwise, you can go ahead and access the Google Drive. There's nothing on there apart from a blank page that you're going to be writing on. So, just one moment, and I'll figure this out. Give me the link, teacher, please. I am, I'm just getting it for you. One moment. And there we go. Okay, here we go. The link there is in the Google chat box, guys. In there as well. All right, how try that. Um, and hello to Raphael. How are you doing today? Hello, teacher. How are you, Raphael? I'm fine, thank you for asking. And you? I'm great, thanks very much. Um, okay. Our topic today, um, Kako and Raphael, you just joined us. We're going to be writing about books and movies. So it's really up to you guys what you would like to say. This is your very, very general topic. So some suggestions for you. Um, you can write me um, a review. You can write me um, an advert or something telling me why I should read this book or why I should watch this amazing movie. You can just tell me simply a description about it. Or you might want to talk to me about like the worst movie you've ever seen and why it was so bad. Or that book you really hated reading at school. So um, anything you like to do with books and movies today. Uh, what might be fun is if you don't mention the name of the book. If it's a famous one then maybe let us try to guess that later on, but it's totally up to you. So, once you've accessed the file, all you need to do is choose a place on the page and type your name and get started. And I'm going to give you about 20 to 25 minutes, if I can. I'll just be here silently waiting for questions or here to help if you have anything you need me to, to help you with. And I'll type the instructions once more in the chat box in case you forget what you're doing, but otherwise, off you go whenever you're ready. Um, and if everybody could just mute themselves, it just makes it nice and quiet so that we can concentrate on our writing. So I'm going to mute myself as well. And if you could all mute yourselves while you're writing, it saves hearing all that typing.
Hello, Ivan. Hello. We've just started writing, Ivan. You should be able to access the document via the link in the chat box or via Google Drive. What you need to do is to type your name somewhere and to write me something about books or movies, something that you like, something you hate, anything you want, okay? Thank you. The, the instructions obeyed are in the chat box. Have a look and let me know if you still don't understand them, okay? There are no, there are no rules today. It's mostly um, just, just writing on the topic, whatever you like, something about books or movies. It's okay, teacher. Thank you.
All right, guys, I don't know what's happening with the file. What, what I think might be better is if you guys could just type um, your answers somewhere else on your computer. I'm going to get rid of this file and then provide another one, okay, because I don't know what's happening with this one. So if you can just um, copy and paste your what you've already written somewhere else, I'm going to upload another file and we'll get rid of this one because it keeps doing the same thing to me. Can everyone just do that now? Right, the second file's there for you guys now, so I'll just see if I can give you the link as well. Right, the second bell is there for you guys. It's called LWA 18th of June. So if you want to copy and paste what you've got into that file, hopefully that can sort us out.
got about 10 more minutes, everybody. So if you want to write something, another one, feel free. Otherwise, 10 minutes to go.
Oh, right, everybody. We seem to be losing a few of our students, don't we? I hope it's not to do with connection problems, but we're going to go through uh, everything in just a minute. I'll give you another two minutes, Kako, and then Ming and I will start with Ming's, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, Ming, we'll start with you. Would you please read us your piece of writing? Okay. This is a summary of one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, while waiting for a bus at a bus stop, our uh, protagonist began telling his story to a stranger. Uh, I'm going to name him as F for the rest of the story. F was born with disabilities as a child. He had to wear braces and suffer ridicule and bullying from other children. He lived with his mother. Although they said F was not as smart as other children, his mother always encouraged him to think positively and try his best. For the first day of school, F met a girl who I will refer to as J and fell in love with her on the first sight. Life was hard for F, but he did manage to earn a scholarship to college for his ability to run. After graduating, F joined the army and witnessed the cruelty of war. After the war, he met J again, who was dating someone at the time. F was heartbroken, but he had a series of, of adventure and met a lot of famous people. With the help of his former lieutenant, F became a millionaire. He met his dream girl, J again. This time he was confident enough to propose to her. J turned him down, but they did spend a night together. Three years later, he discovered Jay and him had a son. F proposed to Jay again, and they got married. <laughs> uh, however, Jay was suffering from an illness, and she died shortly after. The film ended with a feather floating off to the wind, implying the unpredictable nature of life. What movie is it? Thank you, Ming. Great description. Um, all right, so I don't know whether Kaka is, is still writing or listening, but we'll correct it, and then we'll see if we can guess your movie, okay? Um, okay, so this is a summary of one of my favorite movies of all time. I think you said it correctly, but you put an S in there for some reason. Okay. While waiting for a bus at a bus stop, our protagonist began telling his story to a stranger. Excellent. I'm going to name him as F for the rest of the story. Good idea. F was born with, with disabilities as a child. Excellent. He had to wear braces and suffered ridicule and bullying from other children. 
He lived with his mother. Although they said F was not as smart as other children, his mother always encouraged him to think positively and try his best. So what I would do here, Ming, is just put a full stop and then a capital. Okay. Or you could just put an and in there, but it's quite a long sentence. Okay. Superb writing so far. Well done. For the first day of school, I'd say on the first day of school. Okay. On the first day of school, F met a girl who I will refer to as J and fell in love with her at first sight. At oh. first. We always fall in love at first sight. <laughs> okay, great. Well done. Life was hard for F, but he did manage. He did manage. We don't need to have the past tense because you've got did, right? Yeah. To earn a scholarship to college for his ability to run. I would say for his ability for in running. running. Yeah, in running. In running. Yeah. Um, his ability to run sort of suggests like he's just able to run rather than he has like a special ability. Okay. Um, after graduating, F joined the army and witnessed the cruelty of war. Beautiful sentence. After the war, he met Jay again, who was dating someone at the time. F was heartbroken, but he had a series of adventures and met a lot of famous people. With the help of his former lieutenant, F became a millionaire. He met his dream girl, Jay, again. This time, let's put a full stop here. Or, again, you can do, you can put an and if you prefer. Mm. This time he was confident, he was confident, because we don't have any verbs here, right? You can't be confidently, well, we've got to be, that's not true. Uh, however, an adjective will suffice. He was confident enough to propose to her. Jay turned him down, but they did spend. Oh, oh, yeah. This is the same as the previous one. Yeah, mm -hmm. did manage, did spend. Um, three years later, he discovered Jay and had a son. Yeah, we don't need him. Okay. Did you mean, this is a little bit confusing. Did Jay have a son with somebody else, or did they Not have one him. together? With All right, him. and so maybe we put here, and they had a son. Okay. Maybe even just to make it clearer, together. But that's not particularly necessary. It just makes it okay. clearer. F proposed to Jay again. <laughs> He's trying hard, hey? <laughs> and they got married. Finally, I would say. <laughs> But that's just my, that's just my, um, that's optional. <laughs> they finally got married. However, Jay was suffering from an illness and she died shortly after Woods. <laughs> afterwards. That's so sad. Afterwards. Normally we use afterwards if you're not going to put anything here. She died shortly after something, after the wedding, after the marriage, after the baby, or after Woods. Just a, okay. it sounds better. The film ended with a feather floating off to the wind, implying floating off, I'd say in the wind, right? Because the wind's the thing that's making it float. Okay. Implying the unpredictable nature of life. What movie is it? Really great writing today, Ming. Well done. So very, yes. very minor, minor um, corrections. But overall, some great vocabulary and really great sentences. I actually don't know what movie this is, Ming. Um, shall we Don't. ask Carco if okay. he knows? Are you there, Carco? Has he gone? It's just you and me, Ming. Goodness gracious! Hi, teacher. Oh, there you are. <laughs> um, do you know? Have you been? Did you listen to Ming's story? Or have you been finishing off your writing? Uh, I was finishing my own <laughs> picture. And, All right, uh, that's okay. I, I, I am sorry, but uh, I, I, I didn't pay attention to, to the text of Ming. Sorry. No problem. That's no problem, Kako. I paid full attention, and yet, Ming, I don't know what movie this is. You're going to have to tell us. Is Forrest Gump. Oh! You know what? I've actually... Um, it's I a have great seen movie. a bit of this movie, but I haven't seen the whole thing. I really should watch it, shouldn't I? <laughs> now I ruined it. <laughs> You've ruined it for me. Yeah, we should stay... 
a spoiler alert for people who are watching this class. <laughs> I assume everybody saw this movie. At yeah, one point. It's, I have. I have seen some of it. I have to say, it's. I. I don't know why I haven't seen the whole thing, but no, it's okay. It won't spoil it. Thank you, Ming. <laughs> really great writing. Also, yes, a good movie. I've heard. Yeah, thank okay. You. <laughs> Obeyed seems to have disappeared. I hope he, he didn't get too lost. He appeared to know what he was doing, and then he left. So sorry about that, Obeyed. Kaka, whereabouts is your writing? Have you put it on the other file? I put on the on the document, teacher. All right, here we go. I wrote, so, I wrote about uh, um, Gladiator. Cool. All right, could you read it out for me, please, Kaka? Yes, teacher, sure. One of my favorite movies and books is Gladiator. It tells, or they tell, they tell the story of Maximus. They tell the story of Maximus, a brilliant general in the command of the Roman army during the last campaign against the German armies of the north. He is treated as a loved son by the old emperor, Marcus Aurelius, who intends to indicate him as his successor to occupy the throne with the task of returning the power to the Senate. But the emperor's decision wakes the angry of his own blood son, Commodus, against Maximus. Moved by hatred, Commodus kills his father, the emperor, and orders the murdering of Maximus's family and of Maximus himself. The former general, Maximus, after escaping from death, is sold as a slave, as a slave and finally becomes a gladiator, a remarkable, a remarkable fighter, whose last willing is to struggle against the new and bad emperor, Commodus himself. And he fights, and he fights, and oh, and the fight, in fact, occurs in the main arena of the empire, the Colosseum, where the emperor is killed by the Maximus' sword for the cheering of people and the vengeance against the injustice committed against the general. Great. Well done, Kakao. That's a really great description. Um, you've used some very, very kind of complex um, sentences and done extremely well with them, so well done. Um, okay, so Gladiator is another great movie. I have seen this one, so there's no spoiler alert for me, but just in case you're watching this. Um, too late, actually, isn't it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> one of my favorite movies and books is Gladiator. Um... Okay, so you changed to they tell the story because you're referring to movies and books, right? Yeah. But probably, I think it tells is, is maybe just sounds a bit better because you're talking about, like, the concept, right? The, the, the story rather than the actual movie or book itself. So I'd leave it, if I were you, it with it tells. Yeah. It's, our, it's the, the story of... The story of Gladiator, exactly. Yeah, it's the story of, of Maximus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it tells the story of Maximus, a brilliant general in the in the command, in command of, in command of. Okay, thank you. The Roman army. During the last campaign, just got the G in the end the wrong way round. In the last campaign against the German armies of the north. Great. He is treated as a loved son. What I would say here is a beloved. Loved is not incorrect, but it just sounds better okay. to say beloved. Okay. Yeah? He is treated as a beloved son by the old emperor Marcus Aurelius, who intends to appoint, is probably better here, Kakao, who intends to appoint him 
to indicate is, is sort of like um, just just pointing, showing. But if he decides I want this guy to be my successor, you need to do more than indicate. You need to appoint them. Okay. Okay. Who intends who intends to appoint him as his successor to to the throne? We don't need to worry about the word occupy. You can be a to successor the to the throne. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, he is treated as a with the task of returning the power to the Senate. Yeah, okay. But the Emperor's decision wakes the anger. Wakes the anger, I would say. Ah, uh, okay, teacher. Yeah. Wakes the anger of his own blood son. Sounds a bit strange for some reason. Um, uh, his... Because um, Commodus is a real son. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think... Um, and 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 Maximus is treated as a beloved son, though he is not a son in fact. Yeah, I understand yeah. what you mean. What I think would just be sound a little better is his own son by blood. We say blood relatives, but blood son sounds a bit strange. Okay. Um, for some his reason. Own son. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because his own son, because it's the own, you've got the, the idea that it's his blood son anyway. Okay, so okay. Commodus against Maximus. Moved by hatred. Oh, that's a great little sentence, a great little phrase. Commodus kills his father, the emperor, and orders the murder... Orders the murder of Maximus's family and of Maximus himself. Great sentence. Well done, Kakao. Okay. The former general, after escaping from death, is sold as a slave and finally becomes a gladiator, a remarkable fighter whose last will. Okay. Is to struggle against the new and bad emperor Commodus himself, and the fight, in fact, occurs on in the main arena. In the main arena of the empire, the Colosseum, where the emperor is killed by Maximus's sword. Mm, okay. Rather than four. Without the article. Yeah, killed by Maximus's sword. Um, we don't need the article. So the cheering. Under, under the cheering. Under the cheering. Under the cheering. Mm, the preposition's a bit of a problem here. Um, I'm just trying to think of what would sound natural. When the emperor is killed, but Maximus's sword. During no under doesn't sound right. Four doesn't sound right. While Please. the people cheer is probably what would sound best to me. Yeah. That. Um. Or perhaps something like surrounded by the cheers. Um, or maybe even supported by the cheers of the people. So mm -hmm. a few different options. You can choose which one you prefer. And the vengeance against the injustice committed with a double T against the general. Um, and, uh, and the fight, in fact, occurs in the main arena of the empire, the Colosseum, where the emperor is killed by Maximus's sword while the people cheer. Um, I would have to say that we need to full stop somewhere around there, Kaka, so that you can get this part at the end correct. Um, perhaps I would say um, vengeance against and the injustice. And it is made vengeance. It is made vengeance. Um, did vengeance. And it is did vengeance. Against the injustice. I would have to say you need a verb, something like achieved there, Kakao. Oh, okay, okay. Achieved. Yeah. Vengeance against the injustice. It's made. It's 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 done. It's done vengeance against the injustice committed. Yeah, so you can't say that vengeance is done. 
it doesn't work with that verb. So you could say is achieved, vengeance is served, you can sometimes say sort of. Um, we, we often say justice is served. So something like that. But if you want to keep your sentence how it was, I'd use it, the word achieved. Or maybe won or something like that. Uh, okay. All right. Vengeance, vengeance is achieved by the general. Then, yeah. thus, thus vengeance is achieved by the general. Yeah, Can that would be, be great. Yep, sure. Absolutely. Something like that would be great. Well done. Great writing. Great writing, Kako. Thank you, teacher. Oh, right. Now, Obeid is back. Obeid, are you there? Hello, Obeid, are you there? No? All right, well, guys, thank you very much for coming. I'm not sure what happened to the rest of our students, but you two did supremely well, and we had plenty of time to correct it thoroughly, so that turned out good, hey? <laughs> All right, so Ming and Kakao, thank you for participating. Some great writing from both of you today, and I hope you have a good evening. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you. All right, take care. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye.